45 minutes into the game, the contestants were greeted with the late arrival of Quasimodo. Oh my god. I love we're you. a team now. Like, yeah. He's, yeah. he's not our, he's not our first on the entire show. <laughs> well, you know, last guy to arrive. First guy to go. For the first competition, players were paired up in teams as they raced to finish their puzzles before everyone else. The players ganged up on the tardy Quasimodo, sending him home early for arriving late. On January 16th, we locked eight students in one room for 12 hours. One by one, they must vote to eliminate members from their group. There can only be one winner. Before every vote, they will compete in competitions in order to win the Kong, which will give the winner temporary immunity and will break any ties in the voting. There is also a hidden Kong somewhere in the room, which can save players from elimination. What are they playing for? $200. Cash. I'm your host, Anna Sani, and this is Sudden Death Lockdown. <laughs> Even before the start of the next challenge, players began trying to determine who their next target will be. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm seriously thinking of voting out Jafar. Not because he's a bad guy. He's great when I hear his voice. But like I mentioned earlier, he's just that lump of snow you have to get over to get to your final role. So I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, I think... You want to because he's a bit quiet, but yeah. I still think that you need to keep in mind that yeah. like, be a little strategic about this. How know? so? What do you mean? Well, like, who are the most likable people? Oh. oh. Keep that in mind. Any players that are kind of getting on your nerves? Ah, uh, let's see. Prince Charming. I mean, not gonna lie, like, the dude's got some pretty bad pickup lines for being Prince Charming. So I just love your hair. I'm sorry to say it again. It's just really nice. Aw, your hair's pretty nice too. Oh, thank you for lying. <laughs> People are going to start attacking each other very soon. I can see the rivalries building now. Should be good. With alliances already beginning to form, the next competition weighs heavily on the future of the game. Whoever wins gets the Kong and is safe from elimination. stupid measure mania. I'm, I'm in science. I'm a life science person. I'm supposed to be good with numbers. I'm supposed to be able to count stuff and then multiply it and then make sure that the product of my multiplication actually makes sense in reality. But I fail. I was the first one people to off. 
Uh, I mean, uh, eliminate it off because I have guessed wrong. That's, that actually really hurts. That hurts my pride. It hurts my professionalism. And uh, I feel embarrassed for that. Players now have to determine how many textbooks were placed inside the mystery box. challenges yet. I don't have the Kong um, and I don't want to get too cocky about this um, and end up eating my words but I feel like I'm fairly safe right now. Um, I, I don't think I've rubbed anyone the wrong way too much. I can be pretty uh, boisterous and vocal um, but I, I feel like I've, I've managed to, to keep my reputation secure for the time being. Um, I don't know who I'm going to vote out because I like everyone quite a lot. Um, I'm probably just going to have to go through, go for whoever I like the least, or perhaps make some kind of strategic um, alliance with somebody because uh, I'm going to have to start playing the game now that Quasimodo's gone. You'll be guessing how many gummy worms are in here. You're allowed to put your hand up, but you can't see. So. So much. <laughs> 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 
that one. I was gonna come down eventually. It sucks that I was uh, eliminated there, but I think I did a good job. Uh, I won everything except for that, and then I just I was just going like this and I crashed. But I guess it happens. And well, yeah, I, I guess I'm a pretty boring interview because I don't really like you know, cuss at the the other contestants and stuff. But I'm just saying how I feel right now, and I don't feel like cussing at anyone yet. I probably might not, but. You never know. This last Mania challenge is from our sponsor, Rockstar. In one can is 473 milliliters. How many milliliters are in this bucket? because she was, but you know, she hung in there. I give that respect. Mad respect. So I take second place. I fucked up. That was my bad. I take that with pride. I'm not a sore loser. The next one's mine. Oh yeah! Cruella, because you have won the Kong, you are the first to be able to spin the Wheel of Stuff. The Wheel of Stuff? Fun by the comment is full of prizes and surprises. Number five. And it says, pick a dog to be locked up in the closet until next elimination. <laughs> It, it's 15 minutes. I don't mind that much. <laughs> if Jafar doesn't mind it. This is a not a nice game. <laughs> Alright. I picked Jafar. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Fucker. Alright, Jafar is in the closet. Next elimination is at 345. What up? You to take one for the team, buddy. No, honestly, I really don't mind this that much. So, wait, wait for me. Alright, alright, Beast is here. Okay. So, uh, is there an alliance going on right here? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> However, I, I, don't, I don't want to vote Pumba out. Yeah. Pumba's fun. So, I, I like think Beast. Beast is our biggest competition. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, Jafar. Yeah. Jafar. I just want Jafar too. Yeah. So, how is your teammate so far? Good. They just locked you in the closet. No, actually, they volunteered. Is that fine? Yeah. Um, do you have any anyone on your mind right now that you miss out there? That I miss? Everybody. They're, they're just such wonderful people. I know this isn't good for reality TV, but uh, I like them a lot. That was really nice, but I feel like he'd accidentally win. He'd accidentally he'd win? He'd accidentally win. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't developed a personality for me. He's just oh, like the shy guy that, that accidentally got all the questions right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I see it. What's the name of your alliance? Oh, here we go. Well... 
I don't know. I, I, I mean, I said the Alliance of Losers, and then you're always so confused. Like, guys, we all lost. <laughs> <laughs> the reluctant anti Jafar people. I don't know. No, that's no. not. Uh, it's. I don't know. I don't do, know. Do we, do we need a name? They need a name to make it dramatic. It's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> do we. It's like. Well. The reluctant astronauts. Sitting on the fence. Sitting, <laughs> Sitting on, on the fence. The fence, fence sitters? Fence <laughs> sitters. <laughs> fence sitters. Sitting on the fence. S O T F. Soft. Um, soft. soft. <laughs> Sitting on fence. Soft. <laughs> soft. <laughs> yes. So, who's a real presence in this game? Pumba. 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 Yeah. He's a presence. He's For fine. Sure. He's um, very fine. He's gonna become threatening eventually, but I want to keep yeah. him around because he's a good person to have around. Okay, he keeps the show exciting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just—he's yeah. very—he's a very conscientious guy. He—he he makes. I think he—he. He, um. He enables communication between between the group. Like if he if yeah. he left, I don't think the rest of us would feel as yeah, comfortable yeah. traveling around with each yeah. other. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Make it out in that While the other players started teaming up against Jafar. One contestant was about to make a game-changing discovery. I found a hidden column. <laughs> this is really awesome. So I have the column for this round, and I am immune to being voted off, but I can use this later, apparently. So how does it feel? Two immunities! I feel like I have a lot of power. You have to hide that though. Yeah. I'm gonna hide it. Is there only one of these? Only one. Ah. Yes, I feel like I have a really good advantage now. Really great advantage. I'm feeling really good about my alliances too. So I've, I kind of have a, an alliance with Prince Charming right now. Um, Minnie, the Beast, Bandy and I, we formed a new alliance against Jafar. And we called it Soft because we lose some of the challenges. And we're gonna vote against Jafar, just like we were planning. So, okay. You could be a, uh, I can. You're. You can be a part of it of the new soft. And you know the thing is, they actually asked an interesting question when we were in here previously about the position of Pumba, because he's a great guy. We all want him to stay because he's funny and he helps break the ice and all that jazz. The thing is, we all feel kind of uncomfortable trying to form an alliance with him. Never know what the strategy is, but I kind of nervous. Feels like there's a big alliance going on, and I haven't been in one yet, so I'm kind of out of the loop here. So. Are, are you going to try and form, form an alliance, Steve? I think that would be better. I think that would be smart. <laughs> I think that would be smart. It's better our chances a little bit here. So what I'm thinking, if we all stick together, the soft, maybe closer to the end, like maybe not the next elimination, but the elimination after, maybe we should vote him off. Even though he's a great guy and he helps break the ice, eventually we're going to have to get rid of him. Yeah. That's, that's my... Yeah, no, that's yeah, yeah. definitely a good strategy because I think him and the Beast are kind of dangerous. I really like Jafar, but uh, just to make things a little more interesting, to have like the not so quiet people left behind. Man, I'm so thirsty. Can I have something to drink? Oh, Rockstar. This is gonna help me. Amazing. Good stuff. Are you oh. ready to do the next voting? Nope. You should be. Uh. Let's call back Jafar from the closet. Yeah, Jafar! Oh, oh boy! Probably Cruella, 
because she's got the Kong, so we're out to get her. Huh. When you say that, do you mean you and your alliance are out together? Do you have an alliance? No. No? Yeah. Where's that? I definitely feel some alliance vibe. Going around, I kind of see people darting into the diary room together, and I was kind of like, oh, what's, <laughs> what's, what's going on, guys? I don't know. So I definitely have some alliances going on. Mm -hmm. Minnie, how do you feel about it? What's the, what has been your least favorite thing so far? Losing. <laughs> it sucks, but you have to accept it, you know? So far. Yep. What's it like being in a closet? <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I am five years old. Did you um, try to get the Kong for next time so you could uh, spin that? I don't know. What do you think's on there? <laughs> Great things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe maybe someone will have to go to the washroom next time. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Mm -hmm. Alright, Thoughts? Ready to vote? Let's do it. Let's see All it. Alright, Thoughts vote. We're going to start off with. Cruella, and she's our calm winner. Remember that you are not allowed to vote against Cruella. What are you waiting for? Tough decision. <laughs> King of the Jews. King of the Jews. I hate to do this, but you know, it's just. Kind of one of those things where you have to make the right decision. So, here it goes. For some reason, I just think you're not the next top dog. Uh, She's gonna tell you! <laughs> My turn! <laughs> go, go! <laughs> That's it. Oh, well, you know that after the word, this animated cartoon. I'm so out friends. I think this opinion is shared that he could end up sort of accidentally being a threat or flying through the game under the radar so we need to, to cut him loose while we can. Um, but I do like him very much, it's just something has to go. Well, you've heard me say this time and time again, you're a nice guy, it's just that I have yet to you know, grasp your full personality, and uh, yeah. I just want to say one thing, guys. I love you all. Yeah. Anything else? I love you all. You just <laughs> stole that right out of my mouth. <laughs> Here we go. Our first vote. Jafar. Ooh. One point for Jafar. Prince Charming. One vote for Prince Charming, one for Jafar. Our next vote. Minnie. One vote for Minnie, one for Prince Charming, and one for Jafar. Way it would have went though, so uh, 
Yeah, I was surprised. Did you think um, either Minari or Prince Charlie was more likely to go? Um, I don't know, honestly, like, I didn't know which way it would have went, because everybody so nice, nice to each other. My main boy, you know, Jafar, he was my boy. I don't see why. I mean, I do see why, but at the same time, I don't see why. After Jafar's elimination, who will be the next to go home? How will the contestants fare during the next competition? And how will the Soft Alliance face upcoming adversity? Find out next Thursday on Sudden Death Lockdown. Someone's out for the two of us. I don't know, I should back the Bambi. Should we think? Are we thinking about getting rid of her next? Maybe. Thank you to our sponsors, Sinizer, Le Tablier Blanc, Blue Banana Market, R8000 Wholesalers, and Rockstar Energy Drinks.